Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 40, and this is war number 11. We only got one war after this one, and we're going up against an alliance called Hell's Bells 2. So let's see what they have in planning for us. All right, so Gallon is not banned, so I like them already. But we'll see who they have uh, uh, on defense here. Okay. Let's uh, check it out. Okay. So I take path three. There's no one on the first node, and then there's um, long shot. So... Of course, Gallon can do this fight, but Longshot doesn't really get armor ups, I don't believe. Let's see. Yeah, so all of these things don't matter as long as he doesn't get an armor up. So anyway, we could go in here with uh, almost anybody that can uh, take that long shot. And let's see, we've got I Doom, infamous Iron Man here. I'm going to take him. And oh, they have no one on that one. And then they have mm, a Nimrod on this one. Now, I could, well, Gallon is good for this, but because of the shock node here, I want somebody that's shock immune. Nebula. Or I could even bring in a uh, Hulkling. For a little bit of variety. Hmm. This could be interesting. So. Overseer for that uh, infamous Iron Man. Maybe Hulkling. For both long shot and uh, this Nimrod, and perhaps um, hmm, let me see. Usually they have people for this. Um. 40%. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a good place for him, too. Because normally Claire tears him up. But, yeah. Well, I might just bring in... Um, let me see. Domino, Domino, Domino. She is such a pain to fight. But, you know... I could bring in, see, masochism. I could bring in somebody for this domino. I'm thinking uh, I could bring in Nimrod for that domino there. I'll talk about it and, and see what uh, they want, because that might give one of my uh, alliance mates room to bring in someone else. Uh, to handle some other fights if I'm taking these two minis here. So, Overseer for sure. Hulkling. And maybe someone for this Domino. Um, Warlock could do it, but I'm really thinking... Um, Nimrod would probably be better for that one. So, yeah. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Now, what's this? They didn't ban Gallon, but I don't have Gallon on my team. And that's because they were smart. There was no need to ban Gallon because he was not really needed on this path. All right. So... You can see they didn't even put anybody on that first node. And this is Longshot, who doesn't gain armor ups. 
So there's really no need for a gallon, you know. Uh, pretty much anyone that's a good long shot counter can do this fight. So my thought was Hulkling to do this fight and the uh, fights in section uh, two. So we're all set here, going to boost up and everything. And I've fought long shot on this path before. So I'm pretty, you know, straight with the um, strategy that I'm going to use. Basically, I need to just bait out his special ones. Don't want to deal with his special two. And that's it. Really. All right. So you see here, bait out that special. Come on. Bait it out. Bait it out. There we go. Bam. All right. So we just keep baiting out that special. That's it. And then I did that. And the fight was over. I didn't even have time to scream. I don't know if you could see, but I didn't even do a full five hit combo. I kind of slowed down because I noticed that he was getting a lot more power than I was expecting him to get from my hits. And I thought I could hit him, you know, a few more times and then bait out a special one again. No. So I'm sitting here like, I don't believe this. First fight of this war and it's over with. Just like that. That's why he's there. Now, I don't know if they had um, uh, Mystic Dispersion or anything like that. That might have helped as well. But I was just like, wow. Okay, so you can see here, I'm being a little bit more careful. All right, and I am determined now just to bait out. You see how I just hit one time right there? Yeah, not not playing with him anymore. He, he taught me something. He taught me caution. All right, so here I'm just baiting this out. There we go. And then just hitting him very, very carefully. Here we go. And we're done. I was so mad at myself for that. I'm just sitting there. I'm just like, what, what? And then I'm, I see how much power he's getting, and I couldn't stop that last hit. But I think I hit him like three times, and he gained so much power. And I'm like, okay. But that's okay. Woke me up. I'm very focused. Now, this fight, I'm not too worried about. is Domino, right? But I've got Nimrod, and Nimrod is like a perfect counter for Domino. We ain't worried about Domino. All right, so we're going in, smacking her up. By the way, if you have not seen the video where I duped my Nimrod, this is the first time I'm using Nimrod dupe. I say that because there is a time where that actually comes into play. All right, so here we go. Not really too worried about her. Tried to bait her out. She don't want to bait out. All right, there we go. Fires that off. All right, bam, intercept. On point, and then look at that, right there. That could have been ugly. But I want you to see what happened there. Now, if he had a higher sig, she'd be dead. But you saw that evade? That's what the computer does right when you know. It's right at the end. But because he's duped, it was an unblockable special. So it didn't matter that she evaded and then blocked. She still got hit. So I'm going to be pumping up his SIG level for sure. That fight would have been over with that special too if he had a higher SIG because it also, I think, makes it... Um, his special to the shock or whatever lasts longer and does more damage, something like that. But yeah, I want him up there. I want him at say 200. All right. So that's the first mini down. And now we've got this infamous Iron Man. Now you may not have noticed, but when I went in, I didn't select the subdue. I don't believe I selected the subdue. Uh, attacker tactic and mainly the reason that i like that subdue is because of his special one and two 
if they're unblockable, but I've been practicing and I'm fairly, fairly, I'm still not perfect, but fairly good at evading his special one. All right, so here we go. We're going in. I'm not gonna rely on my specials taking out his armor. Okay, and here we go. See, normally I would just fire that off. And then I got clipped. And I'm like, really? Really? That's how you're gonna do. All right, so here we go. Didn't get clipped there. So we're going. Come on, there we go. Hit him with that special. Now, I have a question. Someone was saying that I, I, um, the subdue is working and I see that his armor went away. I don't remember selecting that attacker tactic. Maybe I did, but there was a, another um, war where I know I did not select the subdue attack tactic, but apparently it was still active because he's a subdue attacker. Somebody let me know. Do you have to select the attacker tactic? Because right there, it was doing exactly what I expect the subdue to do for the uh, subdue attacker. Um, but anyway, now we've got Nimrod. And I was tempted, but um, I don't believe, I think, is Nimrod? I don't think Nimrod is immune to shock himself so as you see i had to um revive and and heal up my fault entirely so that was just the cost of making that type of uh blunder but here i don't have to worry about the shock all right i'm just like okay what you firing that heavy off for and i want to hit into his block to get those pierce I just love doing that. Here I'm unblockable. Awesome. And we're just tearing him in, tearing into him. Okay. It let me evade out of the end of it. That's nice. Sometimes it doesn't. And I couldn't fire my special two right there because he power locked me. Um, Hulkley is not immune to power lock. I think power steal, power burn. And um, yeah, power steal, power burn but not power lock. All right, so we're just going in. I'm not worried about a special two. Okay, here we go. Nope, nope, and nope. But now he's unstoppable. Okay, that's fine. Wait that out, go back in. Come on, Hulkling. Show him what you got. See, that one I don't want to be unblockable. I hate that one. All right. Here we go. We're going again. Huh, huh, huh. Ha! And he's down. That's what we like. Hulkling, king. That's what's up. Hulkling, a beast. When um, rank fives become more regular, I'm definitely going to take him up to rank five. Uh, but anyway, that is all for my participation in this war. We'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and we actually managed to win this war. This war was definitely hard fought. You saw that I messed up early, and I was not the only one. We gave up a lot of deaths early on, and my alliance came together towards the end, boosted up, got super, super serious mode, and they rocked it, okay? Um, check this out. You know, this was a hard-fought war, y'all. This was a really hard-fought war. For a while, they were in the lead. And I know a few of us were getting discouraged and feeling bad because we died and stuff like that. But the rest of our alliance, the rest of our team came through. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.